Hi everybody, welcome back to Pumpkin Reborns. I'm your host, Critter Girl, and I would like to start off by saying I sure hope that all of you had a very, very nice Christmas yesterday. I know we certainly did here at uh, Pumpkin Reborns. So I thought that I would update you guys a little bit on uh, kind of what changed for Christmas. We definitely got to upgrade the nursery uh, for Christmas thanks to my awesome parents who got me lots of lovely gifts for the nursery. So... And I'll be saving the best for last. We also have a new member in the family. So, first of all, we'll start over here at the crib. Well, as you can see, they got a crib mattress. And that's why they're up higher, which is very nice. That's a lot nicer for me because I don't have to bend over quite so far to <laughs> pick them up. So, that's nice. Um, for those of you new, this is Norma, Chris, Linda, and Annie. And they also got a new mobile. Now, if it looks like a hillbilly installed it, because I got my packing tape around there. This part was put on backwards. It's supposed to screw down over this, but there were two little knobs. This part's wider than this part, and um, so it was a little little defective. Um, but it fit down in there, so I just taped it just for extra stability. And it came with this adorable little remote. I'll show you guys. Isn't that cute? It also has a nightlight projector. Did that come on? Wait, I'm sorry, I was pushing the wrong button. Has a nightlight projector that you can't really see it on the wall. Yeah, that's in kind of an unfortunate place there, but um. It does have a little ceiling projector. I couldn't exactly tell what it's a picture of yet. And it's also got that just that little nightlight on there. And one thing I'd really like is that it does have a timer. Turn in 20 minutes. Turn in 40 minutes. Turn in 16 minutes. Time in off. Turn in 20 minutes. So that's really nice that it has that timer. That way I can turn it on. Oh, blanket fell. That way I can turn it on for them when I put them to bed. And it'll go off after a few minutes, give them time to go to sleep. So that would be really nice. Um, and it's got several different song settings. I won't make y'all listen to all of them, but volume control as well. So anyway, uh, so yeah, so we really like that thing. It's... You can, you can do all that stuff from the little buttons there, but, um, it's a lot easier to use Mr. Remote here. So, there's that, and this actually, I forgot about this, this is actually supposed to go in the middle, but you had to tie it on yourself, and I couldn't get it to, like, stay on there. I didn't want it to bonk Norm in the head <laughs> in the middle of the night. So, um, over here, I don't think I did, like, an official, official video of this. This was an early Christmas gift from my grandmother, and it is now Lori's bed. It is an adorable little bassinet, and funny story, when I was putting this together, I did almost every single step backwards the first time, and had to undo it and do it again. So, <laughs> that was frustrating, but this one's got a lot of nice settings. It's got night light right there, and of course the little stars, they do spin. It plays music. It's got this goes up the side and when you turn on the music the lights dance with the music isn't that cute so I'll go ahead and turn this off for now because we don't need it during the day. And it doesn't, like, actually say timer on it, but I turn it on for her when she goes to bed. And um, by the time I come back in the morning, it's off. So I, I guess it has kind of a built-in timer if you don't interact with it. So um, let's see. There's the cockroaches. They had a good Christmas. Um, and I also got two more bassinets. Um, now, this little one right here, I want to tell you guys real quick... I ordered her from Doll Reborns, and I just want to warn you guys right now, I wouldn't order from there if I were you, because I can't, I don't have a picture of, like, what she was supposed to look like, but 
Seriously, go on there and look at the Reborns and you'll know this is not what she was supposed to look like. In the picture, she was very, very hyper-realistic. But you can see in her face, especially with those eyes like that. She, um, and her clothes are, like, very cheap. Like, she is Walmart doll quality. So, I ordered a replacement uh, for her, not from Dolly Reborns. So but we are going to send her. We're not going to send her back. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to give her to my mom for her office for kiddos to play with her there. Um, so, we figured that'd probably be less of a hassle than trying to send her back. So, and uh, this little thing is just, it's so cute. I can't remember what it was called, though. You guys have probably seen it. It's a little blind box, but, um, reminded me of that app Finch. I don't know if you guys have seen that app, but I have it and I love it. And so I couldn't figure out where to put it. So I hooked it on Riff's bassinet here. It's kind of like a little mobile for her since these did not come with a mobile. And I guess I'll go ahead and real quick detail the design there, which I think is very pretty. And these do go up and down, but I like to keep them up. So, and this does quite a bit as well. Got the nightlight there. Music. I don't know what the difference is. Oh. The left is white noise and this one's music. Well. So yeah, they both have several different settings. And of course you got the volume control there and that one does the same thing so we have a new member of the family on the way who will be in this bassinet but I'm just keeping her in here for now um until my mom can take her to her office with her um let's see is there anything else I should show you before we get to the grand finale one more quick little thing I also got this cute bouncer and it's over here next to Jamie so she'll have a little sleeping partner before too long um, got the little butterfly and the unicorn on it there, so it's super cute. And finally, our newest member of the family. Ta-da! <laughs> this is Carrie. Uh, she is a 39-inch reborn child. Um, I've actually got her hair, if she will not fall for me, I've actually got her hair braided in the back. I did that this morning. Um... She came with an outfit, but she is wearing one of my t-shirts um, as kind of a nightgown right now. Um, I gave her this little bunny. It says, it says sleep hair, don't care, but you can't really, can't really tell. So, she is beautiful. She's quite poseable. Her head turns. Her face is beautiful, isn't it? I love her so much. I've always wanted a large reborn and never gotten to get one until now, but... She was a Christmas present from my parents, so she's got really pretty hands, her little feet. She is, she's not too awful hard to pose, really. I mean, she's just, I mean, a little, because it's just because she's so big, and she's kind of heavy to pick up and try to pose her, but she's not that hard to pose, really. She's quite poseable. She's jointed, as you could see, in her shoulder, and in her elbow, and her wrist, and her legs are where she could stand up, sit down, or lay down. Um, and of course she joins it in her knees as well and her head can turn up or down or side to side. So she is quite jointed. She has beautiful hair. Articulated, that's the word, I think. Uh, she has beautiful hair that you can't really see right now because I did braid it back there to keep it from getting tangled up. But she has beautiful hair. So, uh, yeah, this is Carrie. And let's pull her little sleeve down there. So yeah, this is one of my t-shirts, which is like huge on her, but it made a good nightgown for last night for her first night home. So there she is. There's a close-up of her pretty face. Put a little bow in her hair. She's got one of those portable toddler cots that she sleeps on that I store under there during the day. So, so there she is. She's sitting in that rocking chair there, which kind of gives you a hint as to just how big she is. She... She's about as tall as, like, your average first grader, so she's she's pretty tall, and, um, that's a child size rocking chair, but still. I haven't tried her in the stroller yet, which I think I'm going to later today, see if she fits in it, but, yeah, so, that's her. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, I hope you guys had a good Christmas, and, uh, if any of you reborn parents out there got new babies or, um, cool baby accessories for Christmas this year, let us know down below. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.